Okay, so I'm in the midst of helping build um, a Google form that pulls data from a spreadsheet. And uh, today we're gonna look at how we can use the date function to make sure that anytime we're working with dates that um, we know exactly which is the year, which is the month, and which is the day. And so you can see if I click up into cell A18 here, I can see that we're using a date function to create the date here. We're saying equals date, and then we pass it the year, then the month, then the day. Incidentally, it's also my preference to see dates listed like that. Um, that's just my preference. I know in different places in the world, they do it differently. They might do day, month, year, or month, day, year. But I always prefer year, month, day, because it's going from the biggest thing down to the smallest, so it always sorts properly. Okay, so let's get today's date in here. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, or sorry, the date for this, uh, these options in the cafeteria is what I mean to say. So I'm gonna say equals date, and then we'll give it the year, which is 2021. We'll put comma, and you can see we're getting a hint as to how this date example works. And then it's 10, and then it's seven. So I'll close that bracket and you can see it's properly formatted year month day now let's say I prefer to see it um, written differently I can go up to format choose number and I can go down to um, date and I can format it like this which is day month year I can have it list date time or I can go into more formats and say more date time formats and there's a whole bunch of different options here so I can go ahead and I could go change the order here. Maybe I wanna see it, it written out like it's a sentence or something like that. Anyway, I, I'm not gonna do that because I prefer the format I have now. All right, so we all of these food items are gonna be available in the cafeteria on the 7th. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy Command-C or Control-C on this, highlight these cells and Command-V or Control-V to paste them. Incidentally, I could also right click and choose paste or I could do edit paste, whatever works best for you, it doesn't matter. I like keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so here's what this spreadsheet is telling me. It's telling me that on the seventh uh, that all of these items are available in our school's cafeteria. What we wanna do next is we wanna pull over uh, and create several different sheets. Each sheet will be a different type of food. So sandwich, salad, pasta, or hot option. And finally, it's going to also show us only what is available today. This is gonna help us when we move into creating a form to allow people to very quickly order things. So let me create a new sheet with the plus button here. And we're going to build a query to do this. So I'm gonna use the query function. I'm gonna go ahead and click in cell A1, and I'll just write equals query and we're gonna tell it the range of data, where we're gonna get the data from. I'm just looking at my example here to see how it works, but I'll go down here to sheet one, and I'll say we're gonna look at data in A and B and C. I'll jump back over here to sheet four, I'll put a comma, and now we'll build the query. So I'm gonna say select A, B, and C. There's no comma after C. I'm gonna say where, B, like, and we'll say sandwich. Oops, sorry, this should be a single quote. Like sandwich, and it has to have an uppercase S. Close single quote. And we want it to list not just things that are sandwich. Actually, let's just stop here so we can see what it does. So it pulls in, not a whole lot. What is it doing where, uh, where B like sandwich? Let's go back and see, yeah, that's the type. And I, did I spell it right? A and B and C, where B like sandwich. I spelled sandwich wrong. Okay, there we go. So now we can see it's just pulling in every sandwich, but we only wanna see the sandwiches from today. Incidentally, I like to pull this down so that I always have the header separated. So when I scroll, the header always locks to the top. Okay, I'm clicking back into cell A1, and we're gonna finish building this query so it shows me only the delicious sandwiches available today. So I'm gonna say, and, so we're selecting uh, column A and B and C, where B is like sandwich. That just is SQL for um, where, where in column B it finds the word sandwich, and then it excludes everything else. So it's not showing us the salads, it's not showing us the pastas, it's not showing us any other options. 
Okay, the next part is a little complicated, but if you type it out exactly like this, it will work. So we're gonna say to date, column A. So we're gonna, we're basically telling it that column A is a date. And we're gonna say equals date. We want it to uh, equal a specific date, open single quote, open double quote. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, and text today, open bracket, close bracket. That's a special function that gives the today value. We're turning it into a text and we're gonna format it year, 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 dash month, month, dash day, day, day. Or sorry, day, day. And let's find out if I have done this correctly. Uh, we're gonna close quote, we're gonna close bracket, and we're gonna say and, and we need a double quote, single quote, double quote, close bracket. See if this works. I feel like it's not, I feel like I broke it. Let's, we'll figure it out in a sec. Let's push return, see what happens. There was a problem. Looks like your formula is missing a whole bunch of nonsense. So let's figure it out where I made my error. It's no problem, we can solve this. So it's like ABCD, where this is like sandwich and today date, date equals open single quote, open double quote. And then we're using the text function. We're using today. And this should have an open double quote. Problem solved. Here we go. Return. And now we have too many brackets. Oh my gosh. No big deal. Return. There we go. So there we go. It's it's selecting only sandwiches that are made today. Today happens to be October the 6th when I'm making this video. So if I did this tomorrow, it would show me only the sandwiches available on the 7th. I'm going to rename this to Today Sandwich. And now we're seeing only the sandwiches that are available today in our cafeteria. So the nice thing about this is we can pull this data live into a form where people can order these sandwiches. Okay, let's make a duplicate of this tab now. And we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do this way easier this time. I'm gonna rename this today salad. And we'll get a list of the salads that are available today. I just need to go up here and modify my SQL. So we're gonna select A, B, C, where B is like, and instead this will be salad instead of sandwich. Salad. And everything else stays the same. Where to date A, so it's, again, it's telling whatever's column in A is a date, and where the, that date equals, we're taking today's date and just year, month, and day. We don't need the time. Here we go. There we go. We have spicy tofu chicken rice noodle salad with mixed vegetables. Sounds fantastic. So that's how you use the date function, and that's how you build a query where you pull things to a new sheet based on today's date. You could also pull it based not just on today's date, but on other dates, other specific dates too.